Hey, what's up? I'm Eric Porter. I'm here at Burn Park in Canton, North Carolina for the grand opening weekend, and I'm so pumped to ride these new trails. So last year in the ranger station video, I brought the family out and we checked out what was built then. Well, there's a lot of new stuff now. So in that video, we got to ride the Diamondback sponsored trail on the fly. But in this video, we're gonna focus on Roll the Dice, which is the double black trail that's sponsored by Competitive Cyclist. So before we drop in on Roll the Dice, we gotta get up to the top of Burn Park where everything starts at the flight deck. Last time we were here, we had to take Seth's Gator up the sketchy double track. Well, now there's a really nice climb trail called Paper Town Express that starts at the parking lot at the road and takes you all the way up to the flight deck where all the trails start. So to get to Roll the Dice, you have to take Clickbait, which is the Patreon supported trail. And that's the black trail that's gonna be the qualifier to see if you're ready to get to Roll the Dice. So normally you can't stop at a bike park, but we're not open yet. And I wanted to tell you about where the start of the competitive cyclist sponsored trail, Roll the Dice is. After the on-off box is your decision point. So if you go left, you stay on clickbait, hit a few more sweet jumps, and get right back to the climb trail to take you back up to the top. If you go right, you're on Roll the Dice, which is the competitive cyclist trail. Before we ride this trail, I really wanna say a big thanks to competitive cyclists for sponsoring this trail and making it happen, as well as sponsoring this video. They're a huge supporter of cycling around the country, and by supporting Burn Park, they're making mountain biking more accessible to more people. So the next time you need stuff for your bike, head over to competitivecyclist.com. You can use Porter MTB 15 for 15% off your first purchase. I've included links below to all the stuff I'm using. So now let's get into this trail because I want to ride it. So this first wall ride really isn't too bad. It's got a pretty easy ride on right there. And if you follow the tracks kind of in the middle, they'll take you where you need to go over the gap to get onto the landing. If you aim more towards the corner, it's gonna be fun getting you up higher, but you're gonna go up and then kind of fall back down. Whereas if you go too low, you're gonna come into the landing and kind of case it a bit. So starting out in the middle and then basically leaning into the wall and push off of it and then pull back into the landing, it's gonna work out really nice. The second feature on the trail is a right side wall ride. So when it comes to turning, spinning, and wall rides on bikes, most people have a natural direction. For me, my natural way is to spin to the right, which means a left side wall ride, like the first one, is my natural way because I'm going up, I'm leaned in, turning to the right. So this is my opposite side wall ride. And the good thing about having both of these wall rides on this trail is it allows people to practice their regular side and their opposite side. This wall ride also works a little bit different than the first one. So the first one, you're going up, kind of like a quarter pipe at a skate park, onto a wall ride, and then transferring onto a landing. This one rides more like a berm. So as you exit the berm, the wall ride is right there. And you just ride up onto it. You wanna to commit to it, stay leaned in again so you have traction, and you're gonna need that speed for the centrifugal force to hold you against the wall. And then you just kind of pull off at the end, and it'll take you right into the landing. And it works really well at trail speed, although it looks a little bit scary, especially if it's your opposite side. Now we're at the cannon jump. This is the last big mandatory feature on this trail, and it's pretty fun. It's about a 15, 16 foot gap to the landing. It's about, you know, five feet tall, and it works at trail speed. Uh, you don't want to come into it too much heat or you land pretty deep in the landing. But you basically want to ride off of this just like you're riding off a curb. So just keeping your bike level, being neutral in the middle, not too far back or forward, and just being ready to nose into the landing once you see that you're over the knuckle. After you hit the cannon, the trail starts to chill out, getting you right back up to the climb trail. So these next jumps are a little on the smaller side. And so make sure if anything, you tap a little bit of brake after the cannon or don't pull up to go to the moon on them. 
They're just nice fun cruisers to get you back to the climb trail. So now we're at Bear Country, which is the green slash blue trail that'll take us all the way down to the parking lot back to the truck. It's a really fun, playful trail and a great way to end your day. I've been here a couple times during the process of making this park and seeing it completed is really pretty mind blowing. So make sure to support the companies that make things like this possible, like Diamondback and CompetitiveCyclist.com. You can really vote with your dollars by supporting companies that give back to the biking community. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.